Okay, we are going to uh, add a QR code to an SSRS report. Um, there's some various instructions out there on the internet and I thought they all seemed a little bit too complicated, so I'm gonna go through it here. Um, so I just did a uh, Google search for QR coder because there's an open source uh, project out there that is nice because they are keeping an active uh, .NET 3.5 version of it, and SSRS usually only supports .NET 3.5 and below. So I'm going to actually go to the get it in from NuGet. Um, there are a couple different ways to get the DLL. Um, I'm going to get it from NuGet. I'll also put a link directly to the DLL. I'll toss it on my website. Um, but um, so I'm going to download the NuGet package. You could also grab this um, in, from uh, Visual Studio. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to rename it to a zip file. And then I'm going to take a look at what's in here. Now if I go to the library and the net 3.5, I will see my QR coder.dll. So I'm going to copy that out and I'm going to bring this on to my server. Let's see, I already have a copy there. Um, Okay, so this is my server that uh, Report Services is uh, installed on. So there are a couple places that this needs to be uh, put to. So if I go to Program Files and SQL Server and the Report Server directory, this may not be in this location, but it happens to be, this is the default location, Reporting services, report server bin. And then I'm going to take my DLL file that I've got here someplace. I'm going to copy it and paste it in. I already had it there. And then I'm going to place it in the other spot it needs to go. Now, on different machines, I've seen this in different spots, uh, but there's a Visual Studio directory with a common directory, and I've got the private assemblies. So I'm gonna paste this file into here. So now I have a this DLL installed onto the server where reporting services is. Now I'm going to make a new report. report. Okay, so now I need to have my report reference this DLL. And this DLL is actually going to do all the hard work for generating the QR code. So if I go to references, I'm going to add a reference. And I'm going to browse to my report server directory where I placed that QR coder DLL. Open that up and I'm going to add some code into here. So here's the code. Um, basically, I am just calling the DLL and there is a class in there that's a bitmap byte, byte QR code helper. And I'm getting the QR code. I'm passing it a string, the data that I want to uh, take, 
then I'm setting its correction level of Q, which is like a 25% uh, distortion, and it will still work. And then that is a size. Um, so I can hit OK. Um, usually after adding that code, I'm going to hit save and just make sure that this saves all right. Because if it doesn't save, it will give me an error about a, something's wrong with my code. All right, now I'm going to take and toss in an image. So my image is going to be a database type. And I'm going to set the MIME type. And then for here, for the expression, I'm going to call my code. And I'm going to call my function. And then I'm going to pass it a string. So I'm just going to pass it a string that says test. That's going to give me a QR code that says test. This could be a database field or any expression that you want in here. Hit OK. Let's make this a little bit bigger and run it. And there is my QR code.